Hey guys, Silent CL here. Welcome back to another Utah Macross Gacha video. Sadly to say, this will be the last Utah Macross video uh, for the time being. I am taking a break. If you guys didn't know, I have announced it quite some time back um, on my Facebook page. If you want to follow me or anything that's still related to Macross aside from Utah Macross, uh, you can find me in the links down in the description down below as always. And uh, yeah, let's move along because right now, <laughs> what a way to end my Uta Macross line for now with the Kiawawa duo from Macross Delta. If you guys didn't know, um, my stand is actually Reina Prowler, so I can't leave Makina out of it. But Makina now has the probably the cutest costume design with her hair let down, um, thanks to, well, Nozomiru. Um, for well kind of creating the idea of the costume if you guys didn't know um, when they did ask the voice actors and the singers for the characters to design the costume for Valkyrie's current summer swimsuit collection um, Makinas wasn't exactly very um, well thought of <laughs> you know we all know Nozomi as a problem when it comes to artwork but you know we all adore her for her nonsense so <laughs> all right um so yes let's take a look at the two gachas for reina and makina we all know by now if you have been playing the event that's currently ongoing makina's or rather reina's costume isn't exactly a uh, block behind a gacha wall sadly to say makina's is so if you guys want makina's well, very kawawa swimsuit. Uh, you have to pull her gacha like mad. <laughs> Unless your luck is really, really good. So let's take a look at Reina's episode plate first. So as you can tell, Reina isn't exactly with Makina in the same image because well, each of them have their own featured gacha. So ooh, apparently I'm on the last page of the episode plate. So yeah, Reina's plate doesn't come with any special notes attached to them. So pay attention to who else can use her episode plate. That is very crucial when it comes to the last event of the month when it rotates around probably next month um, where the diva event might return again so yeah and of course 3856 total score uh, focusing a lot on soul not the best amount we've seen before the highest we've probably seen on a single focus stat was probably about 2000 or so um yeah and a bit more on voice so you can tell that the current event songs really focus on soul uh, that is if you actually been playing all the blue series songs um, and you know there are different color element songs inside the event itself but usually you don't use your full high score achieving setup for those i hope you guys haven't because it's really a waste of energy you could have been using your luck set up you know to get more resources for your episode plates you know that kind of stuff um, you know I, I did recommend those setups in my tutorial videos if I'm not wrong yeah it's been a while since I recorded those so I have no idea what I actually said anymore <laughs> oh well <laughs> uh, center skill okay um, Inochi series plates total boosted by 60% up so yeah, the blue series plates that's what they are talking about and um, let's move on to the next page active skill yeah there we go we've got more recent episode plates with all this kind of 70% um, boost in score for five second duration huh. all right so that means that arena skill uh, episode plate is more towards a life skill so score and damage improvement hmm, is another one of these plates okay so like I said, for all of these kinds of episode plates, it's not a must-have, it's always good to have one. But the main focus on all these episode plates are definitely the costume points uh, attached to them. So, you know, alongside with the very good average total score that most of these plates come with nowadays. So, yeah, those episode plates in the past, you know, that is probably 3600 total score with the plus 25 luck value 
you can toss them aside they are probably useless by now so um yeah we are definitely moving towards a brand new era of Uta Macross considering that the seven star plates are coming around with second batches for certain divas we've got Cheryl Gnome and Freya who has their second version of seven stars right now so yes and we still have yet to get Basara seven stars so that should be next month um it's sadly to say I won't be able to feature that <laughs> on my channel but you know I will definitely still be keeping track with Uta Macross on my own personal time I will still be playing the game I won't be leaving the scene at all it's just that I'm not updating any info on Uta Macross because yeah <laughs> all right so like I said these episode plates are not a must-have but of course if you want to unlock the costume which is the most important thing in any gacha right now aside from attaining from the attaining the exclusive plates the costume is technically the most important part of the gacha because when the costume gets its alternate color or maybe it's power up in the kawa rank system you know getting those um stats up and of course the singing stones that are attached to powering up the costume you know, that, that's very crucial especially when it comes to high score achieving you know the episode play is beneficial when it comes to maybe trying to break your old high scores and all that kind of stuff but still not the most important because eventually you might get more powerful episode plates down the line as Dana decides to release something more powerful than the current Uta Macross trend. So let's take a look at Makina's plate. So it should be the same as Reina's technically. So 3860 yeah and focusing soul and voice so pretty much the same. Uh, Freya is usable of course she's in the picture and of course Cheryl and Nene. So I guess Cheryl is inside because Makina's costume kind of reminds me of Cheryl's uh, Gira Gira Summer outfit. <laughs> well, at least the top part of the bikini here it is. Uh, Min Mei, I'm not too sure. Maybe because Makina decided to let her hair down. Uh, looks more mature, I suppose. Uh, it gives a bit more kawa feels to it as well. Center skill, uh, unit soul is boosted by 90% up. So Makina dominates in terms of the center skill compared to Reina's episode plate so I guess Makina is actually the center for this unit live for this event hmm. <laughs> all right moving along uh, there we go same active skill as Reina and oh life skill it's different um, mode score up so Cho Utahime mode activation period um, you know once you've attained Cho Utahime mode, that is, so you'll get this life skill activated throughout. If you hit any great or below taps, you know, if you miss, if you break, if you hit great, you you still get that 110 boost in score for those failed taps, or not so fantastic taps, if you want to put it in that manner. So yeah, um, I guess Makina's episode plate is a lifesaver, while Reina's plate is a backup, so because it improves the skills of other episode plates of that kind so yeah pretty fantastic and of course yeah there we go no special notes attached to Makina's plate as well so like I said um, the way to go for these two gachas is definitely Makina's gacha because her costume is locked behind a paywall um, Reina's you can still unlock it through episode orbs but of course, that doesn't mean you shouldn't take advantage of the first discounted template pool. So yes, like as always, we are going to pull both gachas at their discounted rates. Because that's all I can afford right now. Uh, let's do this with Reina's first. Or technically, I should go with Makina's. But, you know, considering my gacha luck haven't returned yet. So, I guess Reina's is first to go. Hopefully, to wash away the bad luck with her pools but of course if her pools get good luck then oh well <laughs> hopefully we get some episode plates with Makina's costume so I can unlock it with episode hops so we did get a bit of loading 
All right, a very ever rich Valkyrie animation. Oh, two hit boxes on the first blink. Okay, nothing changed on the second, so that's kind of a bummer. So no evolution on this one. All right, nice to see the waifu. All right, let's move along. A lot of frontier plates. But oh, okay. Nice to see that played around, but like I said, Reina's costume is um, a lockable yeah, event episode plate, so that's, that's a thing. Okay, so no luck with Reina's pool, kind of. We do get a new plate with costume points for Reina's costume, so that's pretty sweet. At least it won't burn my episode orbs away. Alright, let's move on to Makina's. So you can probably tell from the thumbnail of this video, I decided not to go with a versus theme because Makina and Reina have... They are just a duo, they are very good combi, there is no way I can put them to fight against each other, <laughs> so... Yeah... Alright, okay, a very average Valkyrie animation once again, red box on the first bling. Oh, we get a rainbow! That's fantastic, so... Yeah... I guess that's how you plan to spread out your bad luck. Oh yes, that's what I want to see! Hopefully that rainbow box is Makina's Kiawa episode plate. I have to say, I love her pre-evolved image more than the evolved image. <laughs> I mean, the, both episode plates, the pre-evolved image are lovely. Ah, oh, it's not Makina's plate. Ah, oh, god dang. Okay, that's fine. So none of the red boxes evolved as well. So that's kind of a bummer. Hey, but hey, that's the most important notification that I want. Oh. Oh wow. Okay. I didn't expect it to evolve. Oh. Getting some Macross Frontier and 7 Love right there. So yeah. Okay, I don't know if I have enough episode orbs to unlock both costumes. But, you know, I would like to try. So let's go take a look. Let's see. I have no idea what my episode orb collection is right now. Um, I haven't really been trying hard to try and get more. So that's kind of worrying. Alright, let's take a look. We've got 150 points here. Not a lot. Well, it's a start. Okay. Alright, let's move on to the item side of things. Ooh, this is not looking good. 6 is not even enough. Okay. But yeah, we should be able to unlock Makina's costume. Hmm. Um, for Reina, not so soon, I suppose. <laughs> okay, so let's go with all the medium ones first. Alright, then we can slowly optimize our usage of the large ones. Oh god, I need 10 small ones. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna have to use all 6 of my large ones. Oh, that's horrible. Oh well. Okay, let's unlock Makina's costume here. Kiawawa indeed! <laughs> oh god, I just love this costume. Uh, I, I, I like I like having Makina's hair down, so... Yeah, and that bunny on the side of the swimsuit and, you know, Reina's jellyfish plush as well. That's just... Oh, that's just the thing for me. <laughs> okay, um, before it gets a bit awkward, let's find Reina's costume. Let's see. How far along? Oh wow! We just got them pretty far. Is this gonna power up all the episode plates that we got them? Go. Let's just do all the costume points for now. 
Oh, can I actually unlock both of them today? Huh. Okay. So yeah, if you guys didn't know, you can get this episode played from the event songs. They don't give this out, so yeah, you probably have to grind with luck setups to get this one. So yeah, work hard guys, work hard. Okay. Oh no, it seems like we are still lacking in terms of points. Um, might have to work a bit harder during this event. We eventually will unlock Reina's costume. Um, just have to grind a bit more. It seems like we're lacking a bit more points. Yeah, I don't think I can unlock this costume with, um, you know, the the amount of secret. Uh, not secret. I mean, episode orbs I have currently on hand. Yes, it looks like it's not gonna happen. Ah, uh, that's sad. Okay, let me see. Yeah, this is. Oh, we're just short of 125. Oh, dang. Oh well. <laughs> Anyways, um, when I eventually unlock Reina's costume, um, I guess I'll put up the special cinematic video, um, on my Facebook page. So I look forward to that. And yes, guys, thank you guys so much for joining me on the last Utama Cross video that I'll probably do for a while. I will eventually come back to it, um, but I won't know when. I'm, I'm still in the midst of some um, sorting out of things. That's probably the reason I can give you right now um, for why I'm stopping Utama Cross content. Eventually, when I get back to it, I will give you a full explanation video on why I decided to stop Ultra Macross um, informations. You know, but you know, I'm still a Macross fan at heart, so I will be updating the Facebook page with all official Ultra, uh, not not Ultra Macross. I mean, Macross content information, but just not Ultra Macross. So yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for three years worth of Ultra Macross support. Hopefully you guys support me for everything else that I do. You know, I am a gamer at heart. Uta Macross is not the core thing that I actually do. Apparently it has become that. So yeah, I do Twitch streams now whenever I'm free on off days. So yeah, check me out on Twitch as well. Links in the description as well. And of course on YouTube, I have Pokemon Cafe Mix still. And of course, whatever gaming series that I decide to do a full playthrough here. And, you know, I guess maybe in the future if I finally decide to do anime reviews, uh, movie reviews, uh, maybe even game reviews, whatever that kind of stuff that I feel interested to do. Yeah, hope you guys will support me for it as well. And I'll see you guys in the future uh, for maybe another Uta Macross pickup again. Okay. Until then, I hope you guys all the best for all your gacha videos without me. Uh, what videos? Gacha pools without me. <laughs> and yeah, hopefully you guys the culture onwards. Until then, bye.